Dollar Hank, hello, fun, and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Better Crew Assignment mod, which is being made by form user Snark. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a background tool that'll automatically assign Kerbals to your ship depending on need. And I really love this mod, as I cannot tell you how many times I have accidentally launched a ship all the way into space only to realize, oh no, I don't have the right crew on this thing. And that is what this mod tries to fix. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and talk about how this all does work. Now there's not a whole lot to go over today, so it's gonna be a pretty short video, but this is just such a powerful, awesome little mod that you guys are gonna love it, trust me on this. So let's open up my better crew assignment craft here and go straight to our crew tab, where typically in this game, by default, all you would have would be the one Kerbal in the Cupola module, as that's all it ever fills in, is the primary command pod, typically your first part there. With this mod though, well, it's already placed in here a scientist in my lab and an engineer in here too, and that is awesome. So by default, we've got the three main people I need for this mission. Now, as for how it does determine who to place and where, well, let's talk about the pilots first. If your ship does not have an SAS-capable probe core, it will make sure a pilot is on board. If you got that probe core, though, then you really don't need a pilot, so it's not gonna bother prioritizing it. Now, next for scientists, if you have any non-rerunnable experiments, or of course, a science lab, it will make sure you got a scientist on board, and if you do have the lab, it'll make sure the scientist is put into that lab, which is pretty cool. Now, if you have any uh, certain engineering parts like drills, ISRUs, or a repairable part like a landing leg on your ship, then it'll make sure you have an engineer. Now, the cool thing is on this, it'll always prioritize, if you're playing on the career mode, it'll prioritize the highest level crew member available to make sure the best job is done on that mission. The one exception is with pilots. Now, that is if there is one of those probe cores on there, it'll actually prioritize the lowest uh, experienced pilot because, hey, the probe core can do all the work. But if, like on this ship, you don't got that probe core, it'll be a high-end pilot, which is pretty cool. I, I do like that, that if uh, the robot's there to do the work, you're okay. Now, beyond that, here's an interesting thing, though, and that you'll find kind of odd for my particular ship. It will only put these Kerbals into command pods and science labs. Now, that could be as many command pods as possible. If you've got like 10 command pods on here, it'll pop in the right Kerbals into the ones that are necessary. It will not, though, put any people inside of the passenger cabins. So why do I have an engineer here in the storage container? That's because of my favorite feature for this thing. It will save who you put in the rocket. <laughs> that is wonderful. So I've got this crew of Jeb, uh, Sam Lee, and Bob here. So if they're available and I launch this rocket, they will be the crew that gets prioritized to get put in here and put into these locations. Now, if these three crew members are not available, next time it loads this ship, it'll get the right personnel type, so pilot, engineer, and scientist, but of course with different Kerbals. So if we actually go to uh, put this one on the launch pad and then come back into the VAB, we can show that off. And I do love that feature that it will remember not just who you put in, but the class of Kerbals you are putting in there. So let's go back to the Space Center real quick and then back into the VAB once it loads. Now, oh, come on, taking its time. There we go, back into the VAB. And with this ship, if we load it up, well, you'll notice we now have Valentina as our pilot, Bill as our engineer, and Sandbull here as our scientist. And that is just 
Wonderful. I love that. So it will remember where you put them and also the empty seats. So we have three empty seats here, so it'll always be three empty ones. But if I do chuck in a couple of more people, and then here's the key point here, save the vessel. It's now going to remember those two additional people we put in. And that's great. So if, say, for instance, we do load up to the acapella real quick, and then if we do go back to my better crew assignment vessel and hit crew, well, look at that. Those guys are in there. It's just such a fun feature. And these features of where it puts crew and when are entirely configurable. The mod comes with a config file, so you can tweak where it puts Kerbals and when, and even add in, apparently, your own definition. So if you have a mod that adds in additional kinds of crew, you could tweak it for that, which is pretty awesome. But by default, it works great if you are just running with the vanilla standard uh, careers in here, which is pretty cool. Now, I should mention one thing before we're all done here, and that is that there is one incompatibility with this. This mod apparently will not work with the Kerbal Construction Time mod. So if you do use that, well, unfortunately, you're out of luck. This is not going to work for you. But if you don't use that, you can have your Kerbals auto-assigned to your vessels, and that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But that is really it for this mod today. It's a cool mod that saves you a lot of pain and suffering from launching the ship with the wrong people, and I love it. So if you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one. Hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one.